Hey there crew members, Starfleet personnel. Up to now, with this mission, I've been building test models. In all the previous videos, you've seen the test models of the, uh, the, the hangar bay, the corridors, the uh, Deck 19, the shuttle bay, all that kind of thing. And they've all been rough test models. Came to me recently that it's time to do a finished test model. And the bridge is the finished test model. That's the one that I'm doing. Uh, and I must admit, approaching the bridge as a test model was um, th there was a little bit of an edge to that because I mean it's the bridge, <laughs> you know, there's corridors, crew quarters, hangar bays, blah blah. But the bridge uh, is very specific. And recently, I'm so satisfied with the latest build that I've done which is this. So there you can see the finished command centre seat Captain Kirk's chair itself 125th scale and it swivels on its axis and also as you can see it has a self-correcting mechanism in it which I'm very very happy with. What follows now is a, uh, a, a gallery of how this became Kirk's chair, as you can see. And it was a fantastic process, and um, I spent three days making that chair. It was like 10 hours a day making that chair because it just has to be right. And all the buttons on the chairs, they're all there, it's all authentic. Without further ado, enjoy. I'll give you a talk through of this, um, of this gallery. <laughs> I began by mapping out the podium that Captain Kirk's chair will sit on and using brand new craft blades because this is definitely going to be a precision job. There are the two elements of the podium that will be spaced and put together. Here I'm just testing out the podium on the platform that the chair We'll sit on just to make sure it fits okay and on the right of this picture is the finished podium and on the left is a test model that I did that was actually too big. There's the first lid from the cosmetics bottle placed in position. It's too high at the moment so I have to cut out a circular section on that platform to sink the lid down into like this so that it's the correct height um, like I say otherwise it's too high there's the other lid that will fit perfectly into the the lid on the right which is fixed down and but that lid on the right the white lid on the right is too deep so I needed to put something in that and the top of this the top of the blades holder is perfect. This red top that you can see here will go into the lid on the right like that and then the other lid amazingly when it's placed on that it fits absolutely perfect as you can see right there. It comes right to the level and that was purely by chance. Anyway here are the four sides of Kirk's chair that I've carefully cut out and there's the beginning of the construction of the sides of the chair with supports in position. Here's the finished basic model with uh, no dressing on it, but it does have the, uh, the, the swivel mechanism on it. Now, if I just lift that chair off here, you can see how I've done that mechanism. You see the tiny magnet at the back there? There's also a tiny magnet in the lid on the chair so when I place that in as I'm doing now those magnets instantly attract each other and if I if I move that out of center the, the magnets just pull it back in so it's a super simple mechanism but really effective for this uh, for this job and I'm really really glad that, that I went for that instead of just like a static chair in position now I'm dressing the chair 
cutting out pieces of card and putting the, the dressing in the chair. There's the base seat of the chair and it's done in green Fimo. I didn't have any black Fimo so I just did it in green and then of course just painted it black with acrylic black paint. No difference. Here I'm just using a basic black marker pen to uh, blacken out the back of the chair and that's fine for the job. Now I'm working on the buttons, the control buttons for the chair and I've either the, the, the toothpick on the left, I've filed it down so that I can get those buttons there even more precise. Okay, this is all 125th scale. There's the communicator that goes on the chair and the tiny little button cut out of a piece of card that will go on that communicator on the chair. Very, very precise work. There are the two wooden armrests cut out. Again, the basic chair, which then turns into the finished product right here. So I've actually placed this on the, the platform now in the model, in the rest of the model of the bridge. And there, there are those uh, buttons in position and they're all authentic. I've taken that from uh, reference material. And the, uh, the black painted acrylic of the upholstered chair looks fine. No traces of green Fimo there anymore. So I'm happy with that. And uh, again, there is the self-correcting magnetic effect on that chair. Very, very happy with that effect. And you can't, you can't see the magnet underneath the chair, not unless you're really, really looking for it. But um, I think that works well. I think it works really well. Now I'm going to apply that same focus, that same detailing to the helm and navigation console and also to the entire bridge actually. So this is a finished test model. As always, I hope the video finds you well and I hope the video leaves you with some classic Star Trek magic, wonder and hope. See you soon with the next video. Bye for now. Not forgetting a huge thank you to all the patrons supporting this channel and this project, this mission. Remember, when you sign up to Patreon, you become an official crew member of the USS Enterprise. You get your own quarters on board this ship with your name on the door and you receive a certificate of authenticity as a member of the ship. If you're not already a Patreon, it's not expensive, it's the cost of a cup of coffee per month. Your own quarters on board the Enterprise. Not only your own quarters, but also inside the quarters, you can add a few personal items that I will personally make in 125th scale. So it's uh, pretty authentic and a lot of fun and just a great way to support the, uh, support the mission.